begin on the tax debate a couple of weeks before Parliament resumes. Matthias Cormann has explicitly ruled out doing any deals with the crossbench in an attempt to win their support for the Coalition's tax plans. He wants all the focus on Labor. He says they're the ones. Anthony Albanese should be the one backing in. What he says the government's won a mandate for, the full suite of its tax cuts that it took to the election. Pauline Hanson, meanwhile, says she won't be voting for the third stage of the government's tax cuts. And what's more, she's not had any discussions with the government. More from James O'Doherty. With the Coalition's income tax cuts the first item of business when Parliament returns, Matthias Cormann is trying to whip up support. We want to see uh, all non-government senators, all of them, uh, come behind uh, the plan that was endorsed by the Australian people at the last election. The government's Senate salesman in chief meeting with Centre Alliance Senator Rex Patrick, trying to win his endorsement. But the finance minister confirmed the government won't be offering any inducements for the cross bench. We will not be doing any special deals. We will not be doing any special deals. Pauline Hanson is now ruling out supporting the third stage of the coalition's tax plan. Will you be backing these tax cuts? In full, no, I won't be, Deb. Um, I won't be. And she says the government hasn't tried to change her mind. I haven't been approached by Matisse Cormann. There has been no negotiations that have gone on. I haven't spoken to the Prime Minister. Is it right that Pauline Hanson says you haven't made any attempt to contact her? Um, well, again, this is a matter for the Labor Party. The government wants to keep the pressure on Labor, but so far the opposition is standing firm, with Jim Chalmers writing to the Treasurer, wanting to clarify how much the tax cut will cost each year to make sure it's affordable. You should be able to base policy decisions upon facts. We want to. We don't have control of the Department of Treasury. We're simply after some facts. The number Labor really wants to know is how much of the tax cut goes to high income earners, which the government won't stipulate. And the cost of that aspect of our plan, that third tranche of our plan, is $95 billion. The Finance Minister says Labor needs to heed its own message of no longer attacking the top end of town. Our message to the Labor Party is there's a time to campaign and then there's a time to accept the result. James O'Doherty, Sky News, Canberra.